what's up what's happening so you got your gateway and let's do some real quick um what let's get to know this gateway a little bit better okay this is wps all right you press this you go to your printer you press your printer's wps and links into it some tvs do that direct tv i know it does that some blu-ray players connect to it all right backside your technician will install the proper sfp needed for it, your power supply all right, if you have a house phone, it will be plugged into here. So let's say your technician installs everything, gets your internet running, and then you call 288-2020 and add a phone. You plug your phone into here, not a phone jack, because technicians do not backfeed. The reset button just resets it once. If you press it down for 20 seconds, your custom Wi-Fi name and password goes back to factory settings. Please do not reset this no matter what the AT&T rep says on the phone. Hold it down for a second or two, that's it. That's all you need. If you press it down for 20 seconds, you're just rebooting the entire thing. ONT, if you have an outside ONT at the house, then this is where the, the Ethernet jack would go to. Um, you probably, you should not be using this anyways because the AT&T technician will install this. Ports four, three, and two are 1,000 down, 1,000 up, full duplex. Port five is the only, port, I'm sorry, port one is the only one that does 5,000. You have to have the right, um, signal coming to your home like this one's a green one so this is a max speed of 1000 down 1000 up if there's a red port then that means you can go to 5000 your at&t technician or phone rep will let you know that if you do decide to go to 5000 please make sure you have a device because that can handle those speeds because if not you're just kind of wasting internet there's really no need for it uh, my computer maxes out at a thousand so i don't i don't really need to have a reason for it all right um, USB, this is not, com this does not do network printers or, uh, NAS, um, anything like that. Uh, bottom side is your Mac address, your serials and all that good stuff. These are all your antennas. This must be mounted standing up. You cannot lay this down. You'll end up destroying the Wi-Fi signal. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take this apart and see what happens. Yahoo! Yahoo!